First at 10 tonight, mandatory vaccines. It's a proposal JCPS's union is now supporting for thousands of teachers and staff. WDRB Sarah Sidery tells us why this doesn't necessarily mean vaccinate or terminate. Sarah? That's right. There would still be an option for those who can't or won't get vaccinated, making testing required. The Jefferson County Teachers Association is backing a vaccine mandate for JCPS staff. Anyone that isn't vaccinated would have to do regular testing. It means that we are advocating for vaccines at minimum biweekly, but no more than once a week. We found in researching that there was no advantage to testing more than once a week. JCTA Regional Director Emily McKiernan Blanton drafted the motion after the school board suggested an upcoming vote. Honestly, the most criticism I've gotten is from people that think that the motion that was drafted was too lenient and that it should be uh, vaccinate or terminate. But we do have to appreciate that there are people that cannot be vaccinated. Right now, the district doesn't know how many of its employees are vaccinated, although 80 percent of teachers did sign up for shots at Broadbent Arena. If this does pass, we will have a, a clear idea of how many are vaccinated. In JCTA's proposal, there are safeguards for teachers who are not vaccinated, like weekly on-site testing coordinated by schools. Yes, we do have civil, li civil liberties and yes, we do have freedom and those are awesome things. We also have an obligation to the future of our state, of our city, of our country. We have an obligation to our children. Striking a balance between safety and a shortage of teachers. We do not have the staff to just let people quit because they won't get a vaccine. And the school board could take a vote at its next meeting, which is scheduled for the 14th. Sarah Sidery, WDRB News. Thanks, Sarah. JCPS is rolling out a faster way to notify parents of positive COVID-19 tests and if their child needs to stay home. Starting on Tuesday, parents and staff can get text alerts instead of a phone call to be notified of an exposure. The text will include dates of exposure, how long the student or staff member needs to stay home, and how to access classwork from home. The system comes as the district is calling on more students to sign up for weekly testing. There are currently 16 sites across the district where students, staff and their families can be tested every weekday from 3 till 7 p.m. By the first week of school, we averaged about 160 tests a day. Last week, we averaged 600 tests per day across the county. Just Wednesday of this week, we had 1,200 uh, folks get tested. You have to opt in to that text alert system to sign up. Text Y to 67587. Again, that's Y to 67587. Those who do not sign up for the alerts will still get that phone call.